Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. Last night at about 5.36 p.m. Central Daylight Time, there was a magnitude 7.1 earthquake down by South Shetland Islands, which is down by Antarctica. EMSC says it was a magnitude 7.1, whereas USGS downgraded it to a 6.9. Supposedly five people felt this earthquake. Here's the location of those felt reports. I know, I'm kind of skeptical. Maybe it's monitors that they have there. Um, yeah, there was two responses from this location. I, yeah, I find it kind of hard to believe, but there is a small island or an ice sheet out here. There you can see it. Maybe someone was out there. I don't know. This very well could be earthquakes caused by volcanism. Volcanoes. Here's all the uh, different reports of different earthquakes since then. And the reason I say volcanism because it's in an area where a chain of islands have developed because of volcano activity. The most recent was on the island of Deception. That was in 1970. The heat flux from hydrothermal activity um, has been growing in the last recent years. This area is evidently putting out as much heat flex as um, Grimsbakken, the one of the most active volcanoes there on Iceland, is putting out. They didn't even know Antarctica had volcanoes underneath the ice sheets until 2013. This is in an area called the Shetland Plate. And let me bring this out. There's a failed rift system off to the uh, east. See that? And we've noticed, or I've noticed, that the failed rift system that we have here in the United States along the uh, um, Mid-Continent Divide, the North American Craton, that has become more active. Back on February of 2020, the same area was being rocked by over 30,000 earthquakes. That occurred between August and when this article, I suppose, was put out in February of 2020. You can see it right there. In November of last year, November 6th, there was a magnitude 6.0 that USGS downgraded to a 5.9. Let me close this and I'll show you the location. It's not far from Penguin Island. And that's another island of volcanic activity. And then not far from there, there was a magnitude 5.7. Uh, that was, what, October 2nd of 2020. This is all within the Bransfield Strait, which is from there, this line, this fault line, going down to here. And you can see we have spreading along this fault line which extends all the way from up here close to Elephant Island and all the way down here to Deception Island. Yeah, they don't want you to know that if there's a volcanic eruption down here in the Antarctic, it would melt the ice sheets and they fear that it would raise the ocean levels. But the heat flux, like I said, the heat flux in this area the heat coming up from under the ground is as high as what it's coming from that volcano in Iceland. When that earthquake swarm occurred that last year, it increased the spreading that's occurring in this area to six inches a year. According to the article on Reuters, it was actually only moving uh, 0 0.3 inches or 7.8 millimeters and it increased to 15 centimeters, 6 inches a year. I keep telling you, yep, the continents are moving. It's all part of prophecy. Prophecy says how the mountains will be brought down and islands will move from their places. So, if you have any thoughts or comments, I did post it last night on Twitter. I didn't do a report because I had grandchildren um, that I was babysitting until about 10 o'clock last night. But you can follow me on Twitter. I put a lot of things on Twitter. I don't have time or because of censoring, I can't put on YouTube. And I always put a link to that down below my YouTube videos in the more information box. 
So far this year, there's been 11 earthquakes over a magnitude 5.0. Whereas, according to Wikipedia, last year, magnitude 5.0 or greater, there was only 22. Already this year, still in January of 2021, we are at 11. So I don't know how USGS or anybody else can deny that there has not been an increase in earthquake activity. Another thing is I'm doing different research about volcanoes there in the Antarctic, or as some people want to call it, the South Pole. There is this ancient rift system. What I found too, doing some research, this ridge of mountains here was actually part originally when the uh, continents were all one slab before they started their movement. This was actually part of the Ring of Fire. And then up over here, let me bring this up, is called the Pine Island Ice Shelf. And the heat coming up from that area is tremendous. Yeah, like I said, they did not know that there was so many volcanoes hidden underneath the ice sheets. And it's melting this Pine Island ice sheet. There's uh, an area here, um, somewhere to the left, I believe, um, that's actually melting the ice sheet as the heat comes up from the volcano. Antarctica is divided into two sections. The one on the left is considered the western portion of Antarctica, whereas the right side of Antarctica, you can see this line of mountains through here, is considered the eastern part of Antarctica. So they want to talk about global warming, but they won't talk about the volcanoes they have that are melting the ice sheets. And they won't explain to you about um, yeah, the continental drifts and the rise of the heat coming up from this volcanism, the uh, continents moving. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for watching. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.